Hi, my name is Lupe Hernandez. My name is Kaylee Card. Hi, my name is Samantha Kemmerer. Hi, I'm Madison Jones. Hi, I'm Andre White. And we're here to talk to you about Bell Technique. So bowel technique or bowel isolation technique is a surgical practice that is utilized during procedures in or around the bowel or GI tract. The technique is utilized to prevent cross-contamination of the surgical abdominal wound or peritoneal microorganisms, such as E. coli, from getting into the clean tissue. Bowel technique is isolating clean versus dirty instruments and having separate setups to do so. It begins when you incise the colon or large intestine and ends when it is reanastomosed. All right guys, so over here you have your clean instruments that will become dirty whenever you enter the colon. You have your mail stand, your back table, your ring stand. Your main stand, you're gonna have the main things you're gonna use when you first uh, start the case and things you're mostly gonna be using throughout the case. We have our sharp sponges, things like that. Um, you have your back table that will also become dirty. Then you have your ring stand which is going to be used on stuff that is used directly on the colon. You'll put it in there. Um, over here, we have our clean setup. Um, you're going to be using things like a new drape, new gowns, gloves. Um, you're going to use a new foby suction, and then you're going to use closure instruments. Okay, so we will be using this mayo stand when we incise and dissect down to the colon. Once we make that first cut into the colon, now we are in bowel technique. Anything on this mayo stand will be considered dirty. Any instruments that we use on the back table will also be considered dirty. And we will be using this for our specimen. All right, once intervention is complete and the GI tract is closed, that is the end of bowel technique. This will all be dirty, but we'll move on to our clean stuff here. So you're gonna break scrub, you're gonna scrub back in, we're gonna regown, start with the surgical tech, the first scrub first, and then we'll gown everyone. And when we move to drape, the important part that we remember for draping is we have to put down four towels and a whole nother drape. Now that everything has been pushed back, all of our dirty instruments, dirty mayo, dirty table have been pushed back, and the patient has been redraped with new towels and a new drape, we can pull up our clean table with our clean mayo. One thing that we want to remind ourselves is to keep our countables um, seen on our dirty table so that when it comes to counting they're able to be easily seen because we can't touch them once the clean instruments are brought up. At this point everyone is regowned and regloved. Um, on our clean setup we have new bovi um, with a new bovi tip and handpiece. We have new suction, new suction tubing, and a new suction piece whether it be the egg hour or pool. Um, new um, irrigation with a new asecto, new light handles, and we have a clean needle book over there so that we're able to safely put our needles in our um, a different needle book when we're closing um, for our clean setup as long as or as well as our countables on our clean setup over there. <laughs>